All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we're going to talk about the welterweight division, a rumor that Terrence Crawford has rejected a two-fight deal with the PBC. Um, specifically, uh, that would make him then do something else, which is up at 154 pounds. Let's talk about that in this video. This video is brought to you by Boxing Showtimes, a new professional boxing schedule in your pocket. It helps you to keep updated on boxing events and details. Also assists you when you want to find bars near you to watch fights and allows you to set reminders for upcoming fights. Download the Boxing Showtimes for your smartphone and your tablet. Uh, thank you again to our new sponsors, Boxing Showtimes. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. We're going to talk about the welterweight division conversation we've had a lot of times, but just another update on what the word in the street is. And that is that Terrence Crawford was negotiating a deal with um, the PBC for a multiple fight, for big money for a multi uh, deal fight, and that that has not come through and that. Uh, so he is more than likely going to be doing something else. But before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're a longtime subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. If you're not a subscriber, please accept my invitation to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Okay, so Terrence Crawford, 147 pound champion for the WBO, has, and I truly do believe this, has a great desire to fight for the undisputed title against the winner of your Danis Ugas versus Errol Spence Jr., which will be taking place on April on April 16th. Most of, I do believe, before I get into what's being said by a lot of different people, uh, I personally believe that we're going to know a lot more about that after April 16th and that the winner of that fight will have a lot to do with what is going to happen, what is going to happen uh, going forward, whether that is Errol Spence Jr. or whether that is your your Danny's Ugas, odds on odds on. However, it is Errol Spence Jr. I do believe that is going to win the fight. Right. However, there was reports that came out last week that um, that Terrence Crawford was offered a multi fight deal by I, and I'm not sure exactly who was doing the offering, whether it was the network Showtime or whether it was PBC or whether it was Al Heyman himself in an advisor or managerial contract. That stuff did not come out. However, it was supposed to be for one fight that would be maybe a Keith Thurman, maybe a Danny Garcia, and then that the second then the second fight would be a Terrence Crawford fight. There was a hold up in this, uh, from what I understand because that is not necessarily the business model that the PBC is really doing right now because, you know, in that being big money, uh, big guarantees for fights, not that you would have, you know, an issue with getting multiple fights, but what the, what the guarantee would be for those fights, right? So my understanding was that, Air, that Terrence Crawford wants to get a deal that is somewhat similar to what he was getting uh, the type of deal he had with top rank where it was a large guarantee. And, uh, and then if he had it on a pay-per-view, then he could get extra money if they decided to put that on pay-per-view, right? Versus what the PBC is currently doing. And that is having people fight for lower, lower guarantees, but higher back ends and, and cuts in the gate and what have you, right? So take, for example, Gervonta Tank Davis, who gets $1 million for a fight. And then, uh, and Errol Spence Jr., who gets $1.5 in guaranteed money for the fight. But because their fights are on pay-per-view and the PBC does a good job of promoting the pay-per-views, they wind up making considerable much, amount more money on the back end for, you know, for the pay-per-views. And that Errol Spence Jr. was less like, Terrence Crawford, rather, is less amenable to that type of situation. He wants to get the big check and he wants to get and he wants to get a, a cut on the pay-per-view. And that's a matter of being risk adverse, right? And saying, you know, I would rather have my money up front than in the back. That's not unusual for people to do. It's just depending on, you know, what your, um, 
what your tolerance for risk is. If you get a big paycheck right in the gate, you know you got a big paycheck, you ain't got to worry about it. If you get a smaller one, you have to worry about and wonder what the pay-per-view is gonna do, what the gate's gonna actually be, right? And usually in situations like that, when you take less risk, up front, you get less reward on the back end. And it's, and it's only fighters, I do believe, like somebody like a Canelo Alvarez is going to get a huge guarantee of, and Floyd Mayweather Jr., obviously, um, uh, you know, that's going to get the really big guarantee up front and going to get the money in the back, right? In the situation that we, that in the situation that most boxers are, are in. But my understanding is uh, that now is that that stuff, that multi-fight deal thing is off the table and that, you know, pretty much, the Terrence Crawford just wants the Errol Spence Jr. fight, Errol Spence Jr. fight, and if he cannot get that Errol Spence Jr. fight, then he is back to the plan of moving up and fighting um, Jermel Charlo because he is is the super champion for the WBO, and since he's the super champion for the WBO, he he, he will get the right to fight for uh, the uh, fight for the winner. You know, get a fight with the with the champion for the WB. For the champion for the WBO and that the champion for the WBO currently is I mean at the time that he does that is going to be the unified is going to be the undisputed champion and that is almost without a doubt unless they decide you know for some reason that they are going to drop drop the other belts right and so if Ch Jamel Charlo beats Brian Castano then it would be it would be Jamel Charlo if Brian Castano wins it'll be Brian Castano and even if it you know they take the mandatory because you know they have that Tim Zhu there is there and is the mandatory uh, for the WBO also uh, even if they have Tim Zhu fight that that winner the winner of that fight and because there is no rematch is going to be the undisputed champion and that is going to allow Terence Crawford to fight to fight for that uh, for that belt there may be also a little bit of a hurdle maybe the WBA or the IBF may also have a mandatory lined up for somebody I can't remember who. The mandatory was for Jamel, uh, but the but whoever the mandatory was, it did wasn't a mandatory that risked the fight taking place with uh, Castano. The only mandatory that was out there that was risking the fight, the undisputed fight between Charlo and Castano, was the was the Tim was the Tim Zoo fight, right? Um, but so but we'll see what happens, man. My personal hope is that you know the Terrence Crawford. And gets the Errol Spence Jr. fight. Errol Spence Jr. said that he would be willing, you know, to bend but not break to make the fight to make the fight happen. You know, if Errol Spence Jr. is, you know, is willing to do that, and you you have maybe an investor or somebody that's willing to take the gamble that the pay per views are going to reflect it, and Terrence Crawford is willing to, you know, maybe if he's not the willing to take the chance on guarantees for two fights. Maybe he's willing to take the chance on guarantee, you know, on a lower guarantee just for the one fight, you know, but we'll see, man. But, you know, it would be a shame if we didn't get that fight with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. by the end of the year. I, I, I know Terrence Crawford wants to fight. I know Errol Spence Jr. wants to fight, man. But, you know, the money situation and the belt situation is, you know, I think it really still legitimately is still out there, you know, causing issues. Um, or what have you, man. But, you know, maybe in the 12th hour, something will come through, you know, with Errol and with Terrence and the PBC. Um, and, and we'll find out that after the fight between uh, Ugas and Crawford, uh, Ugas and, and Spence. But, you know, it, it, right now it's just wait and see. But anyway, you let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.